Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was pretty cool. There's a company out there that's making these um, wine kits up that is, um, you know, for country wines, for um, fruit wines other than grape. So basically, you guys have seen me in my other videos making uh, raspberry wine, but you know, what if you don't grow your own raspberries? Uh, this kit has puree and everything you need as far as ingredients to get started um, all laid out ready to go so we're going to go for it we're going to make this kit up and uh, it should be pretty fun but um, just like the other things that I do I don't usually follow instructions so I'm going to be doctoring this kit up a little bit and um, kick it up a notch so stay tuned all right, so this kit comes with 10 pounds of sugar or something like that. Um, big bag of sugar. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to boil some water. And I got my bucket all ready to rock and roll. There it is. I'm going to boil some water so that we can dissolve that sugar. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so I've added the big bag of sugar to the bucket. I made sure the spigot is off. And now I'm about to add some uh, boiling water. I'm going to stir that around. And dissolve that sugar. And that sugar came with the kit. And I add a little bit more boiling water. I'm going to stir that up really good. Now these kits make five gallons if you follow the directions. But, and you can certainly do that, but I'm not doing that. One of the things I saw at the store today was a couple of cans of Welch's frozen concentrate white grape raspberry. So I bought myself five cans of these. And what I'm going to do kick this up a notch is add this to the kit. Now these don't come with the kit. You don't need to use these but I'm using them now these are also because they're concentrate will have more sugar so this will make a higher alcohol wine then and obviously one that's more flavorful than what the kit would have so we like to take things to the next level I don't know if it's an Italian thing, it's just something that I do, but I like to make it a little extra special.
Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is dissolve that in there. See, we're starting to get color that looks pretty nice next I'm going to add my cans the cans of puree will come up the kit here's one can And the next thing I'm going to do is fill up the water to the five gallon mark and stir it up and see what we got with a specific gravity reading. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I am at the five gallon mark and I am over 1.1. On my reading. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding water, mixing it up, and keep measuring it until I get 1.1, which I'm hoping is around six gallons. And lo and behold, look at where we are. It's a six-gallon mark. We are at 1.1. So I'm going to take that out. And the, ne the next step we have would be to add our additives. Um, now, it comes with a bunch of additives in bags. The one thing that's important here is you don't want to add the sorbate yet. If you add this now, you'll destroy your kit. Don't do that. But all the other ones, acid blend, yeast nutrient, peptic enzyme, I'm going to add those all in. And stir those in well. I'm going to keep stirring, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. And now, we're going to sprinkle the yeast on top of the uh, raspberry wine. Okay, this is Lauvin K1 V1116. I'm spraying that, I'm sprinkling it on top. You guys have seen me do a lot of wine kits, a lot of wines before, from fresh wine, fresh fruit, and from kits. I thought it was really cool to see a kit made from just components just in case you don't want to have to buy the fruit you certainly can if you wanted to kick this up also add some frozen raspberries but if you're going to do that I would recommend doing it in a 
mesh bag. Alright, and finally I have my airlock. I'm going to put on that. And that's it. That's the first step. We're done. We're going to set that aside and let that ferment out. I snap the lid on. Uh, some people don't. I do. Um, Alright. So that's that. I'm going to keep the sorbet with that. And, you know, maybe in about a week to two weeks, that should have fermented out all the way. And we're ready to transfer it to a carboy. All right, so we'll take it from there. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com with the dashes in the middle. Or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have an awesome day.